seem like it wanted to go but you just gotta pry on it a little there's that one all right this is on top the nut that was on there is a different size than the other one so I was struggling with it quite a bit it ended up being A 16 millimeter uh, but the actual transmission bolt so behind that to get that bolt off is a 15 doesn't make any sense at all that's why I was struggling with it uh, the other ones are 13s that hold a couple of other things on uh, so just keep that in mind it's a 16 millimeter nut on the outside of that, not a 15. Okay. All right, so I did verify that. The transmission bolt is a 15. The this one is a 15. But the nut that was on the outside of it was a 16. Uh, don't forget, I'm actually got quite the room up here. I just lowered the trans and engine down some uh, gives you a lot more room to work.
appreciate you watching. Um, just buttoning this thing up the rest of the way. Put this transfer case, and then next I'm going to put the cross member back in. Um, pretty simple job. Uh, don't forget about the nut that I talked about on the top. It's a 16. And the rest of the bolts are 15, which is silly. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, hopefully this helped you out some with replacing a clutch on a Jeep Wrangler. Alrighty. Got a little update for you guys. Uh, I was having an issue on the 2023 Jeep Wrangler clutch replacement. Uh, it was saying service transmission after I was done. Um, of course, me being human, I accidentally left the neutral safety switch unplugged. Uh, that had nothing to do with it. I plugged that back in, erased the code, and that code never came back, uh, as well as any codes. There was no codes at all, but the service transmission light was on. Uh, this didn't make sense went through some stuff on the computer and tried to look to see if I could find anything on it couldn't find anything on it so we were going to uh, contact Chrysler and try to get some tech help on that uh, with a star case well I decided to keep digging get in there went to miscellaneous functions and there's actually a clutch replacement reset <laughs> uh, in there of course it's not stated anywhere on the recall or in the service manual to do that uh, but that made the light go away after i reset the clutch and reset all the gears because uh, it's, it's manual transmission obviously that didn't do anything uh, then i stumbled across the clutch replacement i think it's the aa prom i'll post the screenshot uh, here so you guys can see but that made that light go off so hopefully this little bit of information will help you uh, if you do run into the same issue <laughs>